Computers usually have a single processor inside its hardware casing. Now, if we do a little history in computer's speed, we can observe that it went from 740 kHz starting with the Intel 4004. It skyrocketed to 2 MHz, 4 MHz, 8 MHz, to 100 MHz, to 1 GHz, to around 2 to 4 GHz in the present day. It doubles every 2 years. This is also known as Moore's Law. With the increasing advancements in semiconductor technology, it became increasingly challenging to further the increase of the clock speed of individual processing cores due to power consumption and heat dissipation issues. Enter multi-core processors. You might have thought, hey, why not put more processors into the computers? Now think about it guys, the scalability of it will be disastrous. So. What we do instead is that we take the architecture of a single processor and multiply it into different cores, hence its name, multi-core processor. A teacher gives a challenging activity to his students individually. That will put a heavy burden among each students. But if the teacher decides to group his students by pair or by three or whatever he wants, the heavy burden placed on a single student is alleviated. This is because in a group work, the work is distributed to each members of the group, resulting in an increase of performance. The same thing can be applied to multi-core versus a single core processor. With multi-core processor, a heavy task can be distributed along each cores that are capable of executing instructions independently. These cores are integrated into a single chip allowing for parallel processing. This makes it suitable for users who love to multitask, one tab for editing, another tab for rendering, or whatever. An example of a multi-core processor is the Intel Core 2 Quad Processor Q6600, which is the world's first quad-core for desktop developed by Intel. It is a state-of-the-art processor designed to excel as the ultimate gaming machine and multimedia processing engine. It is designed for the increasing number of threaded applications suitable for not only intensive multitasking but also for delivering impressive gaming performance. It has a performance of a 2.66 GHz core speed and a 1066 MHz front side bus speed. Another example is the Intel Xeon 5300 processor, which is another breakthrough performance from the industry's first quad-core standard high-volume processor. The processor enables service customers to turbo-boost their general-purpose servers, offering breakthrough in energy-efficient performance, increased density, and reduced calling demands. The performance of the processor includes having a core speed that ranges from 2.6 GHz to 1.60 GHz, with bus speeds ranging from 1,333 to 1,066 MHz. Include to that a thermal design point of 105 watts. So the next time you see the term multi-core or multi-core processors, you know exactly what it signifies.